cancer has the ability to spread to other parts of the body. When this happens, it's also known as metastatic disease. The cancer has spread or metastasized. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. Metastatic disease is also known as secondary cancer or stage four cancer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about metastatic disease and what it means. If somebody came to the breast clinic with a breast problem and was diagnosed with breast cancer, the probability of that person having disease elsewhere is low. Only about six to 10% of patients will have metastatic disease at the time of a breast cancer diagnosis. However, around 20 to 30% of patients with early stage breast cancer will go on to develop metastatic disease. So what actually happens? Well, cells from the original cancer, also known as the primary site, so in this case it's the breast, will break away and travel through the bloodstream or lymphatic system to other parts of the body. Many cells will die during this process of travel. However, if the conditions are favorable, some will reach their destination, take hold and start to divide and grow. Now, having said that, these cells can also lay low and stay quiet for many years before deciding to grow and divide, if at all. Metastatic cancer has the same name as the primary cancer. So if breast cancer has spread to the lungs, for example, it's called metastatic breast cancer in the lungs rather than lung cancer. You may know that breast cancer is treated by a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy and tablets, depending on the type of the breast cancer. And there is a reason why we use all of these different ways to treat breast cancer. And that's because these different treatments target the cancer in different ways. Surgery will treat the cancer locally by removing it. Radiotherapy minimizes the cancer coming back in the breast or chest wall if you've had a mastectomy. Chemotherapy, immunotherapy and tablet treatments such as tamoxifen and letrozole will target the whole of the body, minimizing the risk of the cancer from starting to grow again. And that is why we use a combination of these treatment options to make sure that we treat the cancer as efficiently as we can to minimize the cancer from coming back. So where does breast cancer normally spread to? Well, normally they spread to areas such as the lymph nodes, the lung, the liver, the bones, as well as the brain. If the cancer has spread, you may experience different symptoms depending on where it has spread to. You may have shortness of breath if the cancer has spread to the lungs, for example, or a constant ache without any recall of trauma if the bones are affected. And I've actually made a separate video about these red flag symptoms, so do check it out. It describes what the different kind of symptoms you need to look out for, and I will leave the link of the video in the description below. So, if you are experiencing symptoms, what we would do is we will do a CT scan and a bone scan. A CT scan will look at the chest, abdomen and pelvis, as well as the lymph nodes within these areas. And a bone scan will look at all of the bones within the body. If something abnormal is picked up, we would normally do a biopsy of this area to make sure that we are in fact dealing with a metastatic cancer. This sample of tissue is sent to the lab and then the pathologist will be able to tell whether a cancer is indeed traveled from the breast or whether it is a new primary. So is metastatic breast cancer curable? I'm afraid it isn't, but it doesn't mean that there are no treatment options available. The aim of treatment is to stop the cancer from growing or slowing down its growth. There are also treatment options used to help alleviate symptoms and improve quality of life. Many people do live a long and good quality of life despite of having metastatic breast cancer or stage four cancer. I hope this has been helpful. Do subscribe if you want to learn more about breast cancer and health and I'll see you in the next video.